All right. Welcome to Operation End Times. This is your Jedi warrior for Jesus, Bent Hellestead. Brothers and sisters, in Christ our Lord, if you're here watching this channel, that means God's talking to you. We're living in the most amazing of times. <sighs> Today, I just wanted to share a few things. You know, I woke up, turned on the TV, and there was a, a pastor giving a sermon. And it was the exact right sermon that I needed to hear. But he was talking about the prodigal son returning to God. You know, God, the righteous are already hearing him. You know, what Jesus <coughs> is bringing back into the fold is all the prodigal sons and daughters. I know I'm one of them. And you know, it's a difficult journey to come back to God. But if you're hearing Him call, take the first step. And you know, God, the minute you turn around and take even one baby step back towards Him, He comes running with arms wide open, welcoming you back. And you know, in these end times, as the hour approaches, there are many of us out there that are filled with zeal and zest, with the Holy Spirit filling us with energy. And it's all a good thing. But at the same time, there are things that, that must be known. You know, here at Operation End Times, you know, God had me start this channel. You know, God has been driving my life full force for, you know, he's been driving my life my whole life, but you know, now he's got the accelerator down saying, go. But what I'm going to try and tell you is, you know, he's revealing many things to us. And in our zest and zeal, and, uh, you know, I'm going to try and find the words for this, but, you know, like myself, as I grew up, even as a child, I had a, a vivid imagination. I was a dreamer. You know, I collected comic books as a child. I loved to read comics. Even though now I can kind of see a, a negative influence But still, you know, when you get to the end times and you're flipping through your Bible, you know, if you don't have God in your heart, it comes across as horrific. <laughs> but if you have God in your heart, there's this other strange, uh, you know, thing that happens because it's, it's like reading a big comic book. You know, all the imagery and the angels flying in the air and trumpets blowing and people singing. And it's easy to get caught up in it. I know, I've been caught up in it. And it's the great mystery of God. It's like a it's like a game, you know, like the Da Vinci Code, watching that movie, you know, where Tom Hanks solved everything, or or playing Clue, you know, where you get a little clue and let's see who can solve the puzzle first. You know, one thing I want to tell you is there's no prize for solving the puzzle. You know, it may be a good thing that it gets solved, 
but there's no prize. Once you solve the, pu the puzzle, what you'll find out is that you face a decision on whether you're going to follow the Lord's way, whether you're going to let His face shine upon you and lead you down the path. And in these end times, it's not a game. You know, it feels good, but it's not an amusement park. These are deadly serious times. And, you know, our process of coming back to our Father, to our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, I, I wish it was just as simple as, as turning around, you know, and walking towards Him, but it's not. And, I, and that's what you need to be told. It's a process. You know, when I started my Tribulation 515 2011 channel, you know, one of the first uh, responses I got from my brothers and sisters in Christ, not from the scorners, the mockers, and the haters, no, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, was like, hey, it's not the Tribulation, you know, or God's gonna get me, gonna bring the rapture, so I'm not worried about any of that scary stuff. I got a free, you know, magic carpet ride around it, over it, through it. You know, all that's a big lie. Wake up, all the rapture people out there. Wake up. You know, we're born into tribulation. You know, God bless you if you've led a, a hedged-in existence. You know, but all that is going to be swept away. But you know, even when God has stripped everything from your life, you know, to wake you up, to take everything out of your way that's been blinding you and deceiving you. You know, like in the book of Job, your house is gone, your job is gone, your friends are gone. He's doing that for a purpose, because He loves you. But you know, even after all that happens, there's still more. As you humble yourself, and you start walking with God, God has a God has a right hand, God has a left hand. And the right hand is his love and his righteousness, his compassion. That's all the good stuff that we love about our Lord. And you know, we should love it. You know, I'm I'm going to tell you right now. You know, if you have any doubt, just walk outside at night and look up in the sky and you will see Venus shining brightly. That is a sign of our Lord that his, that He's at work. It's the brightest star in the sky. It's the prophecy star. Prophecy is being fulfilled. But Jesus is working right now. But if you've been watching my videos, you know that God also has a left hand. And that's part of the process of coming back to God. And I know, because I'm living it. And you know, there are others of us, you know. A big shout out once again to my Pat, my sister Patty out there. My new sister in Christ. I love her so much. But you see... Walking with Jesus, you can't just live in the right hand, you know. That's where the babies are. And it's okay to be a baby for Jesus. You know, somebody you gotta start somewhere. The part of growing up is you gotta transit, just like Venus is gonna transit the sun in June. And you have to transit and you have to subject yourself to the left hand of God which is the rod of iron. And I'm going to tell you right now, brothers and sisters in Christ, prodigal sons and daughters, that Jesus is going to beat you down because He loves you. And you know, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you how He's going to beat you down because we're all unique and special. So I leave that up to my Lord and Savior. But I'm just telling you, you know, it's not all rainbows and uh, giggles. You know, I was telling my sister Patty, you know, 
people think that it's this whole end time thing is some kind of game, you know, like, like an amusement park, getting on a roller coaster ride. Well, I tell you what, there is a roller coaster ride. I went on one yesterday, man, you know, where I went up and I went down. And it wasn't fun. I don't know, some people enjoy roller coasters. <laughs> I've ridden plenty of them, but, you know, I don't actually enjoy them, you know. They make me sick after a while. But you know what? As God opens your eyes and you fall into servitude, you know, you accept the rod of iron, <laughs> you come to love your Lord even more. You know, look, look at the end times. Look at the book of Revelations, you know. It says that his end time saints who love the Lord but keep his commandments. That's the rod of iron. So even me, you know, today, I'm looking back at God's commandments and mapping my life over them to make sure, you know, because it's about compliance. So, you know... When God does beat you down, praise His name, because He loves you. Now I'm going to kind of wrap it. This is a brand new day. I'm up early, because I'm going to sing my song to my Lord from my heart. I've found it, and I'm going to sing it for you. Not this morning, <laughs> but soon. I'll get it I'll get it put up probably today. <laughs> but I'll share it with you. And and you know what? It's probably something many of you might even have heard before. You know, when it comes to praising God, you know, one of the the things is when I was reading revelations about, you know, the la the song of the lamb and the the new song, you know, worthy is the lamb. I was sitting here thinking, well, man, how, how, how's everybody singing that all together? You know, we're all, we all got different languages, and, you know, how would we all know the same words? <laughs> but that is another one of those mysteries of God, is when you lift your eyes, and you're praising Him, and He's, the Holy Spirit's filling your heart, He gives us all the same words. <laughs> all right, you know what? I have to get about the Lord's business today. So God bless you all. There's nothing to fear out there if you're walking with God. Whew. All right. Think positive. Praise His name. Wake up every morning. Make Him the first thought, the very first thought. Make every fiber, every atom in your body pine to be with Him. And you know, when you go to bed at night, make him the last thought before you close your eyes. All right. God bless y'all.